welcome back to my youtube channel so you guys are in for a treat because if this vlog is a vlog like no other vlogs it's something you guys are not used to probably never seen before on youtube Damn! Damn! trust me i wanted to do something completely different so currently i'm speaking to you guys whilst being in ivory coast so i'm here on holiday but i thought why not show you guys how beautiful this country is? I feel like the media never um, show Africa in a positive light and they never show the true beauty of Africa. So I thought this vlog, I might as well show you guys how beautiful Ivory Coast is and also present to you guys how nursing is in Ivory Coast in comparison to the UK. So I will be showing you guys and taking you guys with me literally, like quite literally on my journey because I have managed to um, have the opportunity to work in a clinic for the day um, just to see how nursing is abroad in comparison to the UK. I'm really excited for this vlog and I hope you guys are too. You guys better watch this vlog from the beginning to the end because it's going to be lit. Um, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow Nurse Diaries UK on Instagram. I'm going to stop talking because I could be talking for ages. You guys better watch this to the end. And I hope you love this vlog and fall in love with Ivory Coast as much as I have. But yeah, I'm done talking. Guys, watch to the end. Welcome to my channel. Hello, you guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's currently three a.m. Um, and the girl is going to catch a flight. <laughs> so basically, guys, um, I'm currently traveling with my family, and we're going to Ivory Coast right now. So I thought it would be really nice for me to vlog my journey and show you guys my experience there. And I really, 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 fingers crossed, I'm trying to kind of get a, pl not placement, because it's not going to count as my hours. But I really just want to like do volunteering work at the hospitals there and kind of see how it's like to be a student that's there um, in comparison to the UK. So that you guys can see how it's like as well, like nursing um, in a different country. So hopefully I will get that secured. See y'all at the airport because that's where we're going to next. Bye. been before so it's going to be interesting to see how it's like in comparison to the capital but yeah i'm looking forward to it and i'll obviously show you guys how it's like and tomorrow is my sister's birthday so we're gonna you know do something there to celebrate her 18th birthday and i'll make sure that i vlog her record as much as i possibly can so yeah Oh, no. 
moi, on peut chanter. in a clinic and as you guys probably have realized I'm in Ivory Coast so they speak French here so this is why it's really good if you speak another language or if you're if you want to learn another language because nursing is such a universal course you can do it anywhere around the world and that's what this vlog is really about just to have the opportunity to work abroad like it's genuinely something I always wanted to do so I'm really looking forward to it um really looking forward to working in the clinic and obviously even seeing how well my French really is because I'm going to be speaking to my patients in French because they speak French <laughs> This is my review of 
how my experience was actually like first of all i would like to apologize um because as you can tell probably from the way i'm speaking and the way i look a bit different and my setting is a bit different basically i wasn't able to vlog my review straight after um only because i had so many other things to do but it doesn't matter because i'm still going to give you guys the best review ever and really explain to you what it is that i actually done um at the clinic um so we were basically mostly based in theatre um so when i got there i was introduced to the matron and then i changed into my scrubs and went straight into theatre where I met the surgeons and anaesthetists got to really speak to them, find out what it is that they do I studied adult nursing so I have never witnessed my like a c-section or anything like that um, but on this experience of working in the clinic I got to see like a couple of c-sections and it was really interesting to really like see and have a feeling of like other fields of nursing and midwifery as well um, so that was really nice to see. Also, they were removing fibroids um, and that was really interesting because I didn't really understand why fibroids occur and I've never obviously seen one before. And so to be in a surgery in a completely different setting and um, see the removal of multiple fibroids was really, really amazing and it was a really amazing experience. Um, also, the team that I was working with, they were all really nice to me. Um, really welcoming to me and also they really wanted to teach me a lot um, which was really nice I honestly wish that I had spent more days there because I did actually really enjoy my experience most of the time this was all in the theatre so it was all based in the theatre one thing that I did notice is that the theatre there in comparison to in the UK is completely different and completely different in the sense where they do lack a lot of resources in comparison to us. So it makes me realise how grateful we should be and how fortunate we should be that we have literally every resource possible. Um, and I was even asking because obviously um, in certain areas of Africa, the electricity does get cut off on a frequent basis. So I was also asking questions like what happens when the electricity gets cut off? And they were explaining that they have a generator but obviously it takes time for the generator to work and so if it happens during surgery they have to find alternatives as to how they can continue the surgery so yeah so one thing that i did learn is that regardless of the lack of resources that they have they still manage to make things work um in order to really help their patients and that's what i that's one thing that I really, really, really did appreciate is the fact that regardless of any obstacle that's thrown at them, they really try and overcome it. They're talented and they're really good at their jobs and it was really nice to be around such a nice team. To work with anaesthetists and seeing what they do and seeing what surgeons do, it was really interesting. And obviously, I've never seen a fibroid before and I really did not have any knowledge of like why fibroids occur and where they can be and I've never physically ever seen one before so being in that surgery and them explaining to me everything seeing a uterus seeing exactly where the fibroid is holding the fibroids and even being a part of that was such an amazing experience because it's something that I've never done and it's probably like probably I would say one in the, one in the lifetime experience because it's not often that you get to see something like that so if you haven't already please follow my instagram page nurse diaries uk um i made a poster all about fibroids because after i went to that surgery and saw fibroid and saw multiple fibroids in fact because that surgery like was three hours long um removing fibroids um because the patient had multiple fibroids and it was really causing infertility as well so we rem they removed as much as possible um but yeah that really really was it was a touch so interesting that i felt the need to go and do more research and really understand it to greater knowledge so i went and done a lot of research on it and created a poster for you guys 
which is on my Instagram page, so make sure you check that out. Before I went to the clinic, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I knew that I've always wanted to work abroad and see how it is there in comparison to over here. Um, as a student nurse, it was really interesting to see the fact that people really, really are determined to teach you as much as they possibly can and they want to get you involved. Um, something that I saw within the clinic um, was something that they used to listen to the heartbeat of the child, the baby. Um, it's something that I've never seen before, but obviously I don't do midwifery as I've said before. so. I wasn't sure if they still have this in the UK or not. Um, I did ask one of my colleagues who is a student midwife um, and she said that they don't usually have it in the UK but only like rarely do we see it um, because it's quite old. Um, it's quite old and they usually use stethoscopes now in comparison to what I saw. It's really cool to see something that I've never seen before. Um, and just to have a greater knowledge because as i always say knowledge is power guys so just being able to understand and see something completely different is amazing wish to do maybe is you know be able to upgrade their equipment because they need equipment there they really do like a theater in the uk in comparison to what i experienced is very very different so I would say if anybody could just like donate let's say five pounds whatever you have it would be really nice and you could just you know surprise them and give them with new resources that they probably need and it would save so many lives for them as well um and also another thing i forgot to mention okay so the healthcare system in the uk we have the nhs the NHS, we are very, very fortunate because we don't pay for our, like when we need to go to hospital, we don't pay for it. When we need to go see our GP, we don't pay for it. Around the world it is completely different. And in Ivory Coast, you have to pay for everything. Even to see the doctor, you need to pay for that. Even for the doctor to see you, they need to have gloves on. In order for them to have gloves on, you have to pay for that. Now, if you don't have money, what are you going to do? This is a place where it's absolutely beautiful, but also the healthcare system is not the best at all. Um, so one thing I did learn is the fact that money gets you to the doctor, gets you to see um, the doctor and stuff like that. But it is extremely expensive for people, especially if they are not fortunate to have jobs due to the lack of resources and few jobs available as well um so that's one thing that i did learn which i was just like that's really sad because some people can be really sick suffering and they literally cannot even get any help so we're really really lucky over here in the uk that we don't have to pay to go and see the doctor we literally can go whenever we want to book an appointment um what else did i realize oh yeah so where i was working was a clinic so in africa the clinics are private so this is nothing to do with the hospitals that are not private so that theater room that i've shown you guys is private in the uk a private theater god knows how it looks because i've never been to a private theater but i'm just saying that it probably is like the highest of high end standards what i went to experience and what you guys have just watched is their high-end standard theater so it just shows you how much we have in comparison to them and that's why i really 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 would appreciate it if you guys could just you know give a little change to help others because it would be really 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 beneficial um and yeah but overall guys regardless of people having money or not it's a beautiful country and people really really do enjoy it have fun and they're more stress-free guys when i came back to london because i'm currently speaking to you back in london now i was just like oh my gosh like the weather here was just horrible it was literally cloudy and i'm thinking i was just in the sun like i just want to go back like it was it was a very nice experience um 
so i would really encourage you guys like if you ever go abroad or somewhere on your holiday try and see if you can get um if you can talk to somebody and and go on like a one day placement or however days you want placement in a hospital and just see how things are because i think it's a really really nice experience um and it's taught me a lot and i've tried to explain and share my knowledge onto you guys and i know that if i go to Abu Chris again i would definitely go back there because i really really did enjoy it and it's really nice to help people who don't have a lot as well um but yeah and it also shows you don't take things for granted but at the same time guys what i learned is over there they do have fun they do enjoy themselves and they sh like it just shows you that life is short like just enjoy yourself as well um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog it's very different to what you guys are used to i just wanted to share with you guys my experience and for you guys to understand how things are abroad um how nursing is abroad as well to have a little insight um so yeah please read the description box below um and as i said before if you guys have any change or anything just to help others you guys have seen how the theater looks like over there like it would be really really helpful um but yeah that's all from me guys i just wanted to share with you guys my experience show you guys how beautiful africa is regardless of what people show on on like social media and on the web or on tv i feel like they don't really show the beauty of africa and how like even though people do not have a lot natural resources are 10 times better than over here it's so beautiful obviously there's things that are a bit mm, like the healthcare system obviously needs investment in but apart from stuff like that it is amazing it's such an amazing experience and I would advise anyone to go because it's really 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 nice but yeah guys see you in my next video i hope that you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel and that's all from me see you guys in the next one Bye.